long ago, when the gods still walked the earth, two young lovers, Matakauri and Manata, lived in the South Island of New Zealand. One night, as Matakauri and Manata slept side by side, a giant stole into the village and took the sleeping Manata back to his home in the mountains. When Matakori awoke and found Manata gone, he went in search of her. He discovered a giant footprint on the riverbank. Matakori hurried back to the village to tell the people what he'd found. The giant Mato has taken Manata to his home in the mountains. Matakori set out to rescue Manata. He ran all day and all of the night. Reaching the foothills, he found Manata. The two lovers embraced. I cannot escape. He has bound me with this rope. If he wakes, he will kill us. He will wake only if the wind changes. While the northwest wind blows, he will sleep. Matakori tried to sever the rope binding Manata. He struck it with his greenstone miri, but it would not break. The rope was made from the skin of a two-headed dog and could not be cut by greenstone. Despairing, Manata began to cry. The tears fell from her eyes and landed on the rope, severing its bond. Manata and Matakori made a mokihi and paddles. Travelling along the hour, they headed back to their village. That night, Matakori told Manata of his plan to kill the giant. While the northwest wind still blows, we are safe. When it stops, he will come for us. The people of the village huddled in fear. They listened to the wind, terrified it would change. Manata did not want Matakori to go, but she knew in her heart only he could save them. Matakori ran all night. At his home in the foothills of the mountains, Mato slept. His giant body stretched along the ground as far as the eye could see. Arriving at the sleeping giant, Matakori quickly began to gather armfuls of dry bracken. Matakori piled the bracken around the sleeping giant, surrounding him. He set fire to the bracken and slowly crept away. The dried branches ignited and soon the sleeping Mato was engulfed in flames, the hot, dry breath of the northwest wind fanning the flames higher and higher. Mato's body burned deep into the earth, the outline of his sleeping form carved into its surface. All that remained of the giant was his beating heart. The heat of the flames melted the snow on the mountains, and the water formed a lake where Mato had burned. 
Today that lake is known as Lake Wakatipu, and Mato's beating heart marks the rise and fall of its tides. Thank <laughs> you.